Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. Uh, in this video, we are just going to um, go do a couple of summons uh, on the Mystic Forge event. Um, brand new, well, I say brand new. Uh, it is a reoccurring event where you can pick up all of the legendary artifacts. Uh, what you can do is you can pay money into it uh, or you can pay diamonds into it and get yourself a free copy of the new relic if you have enough diamonds. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yes, I need a haircut. That will come on Saturday. So, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, nice, nice, smooth haircut. Um, but we're going to Mystic Forge now. What I did not address, like, well, when it came out, um, is this banner. I put a, um, a sh uh, two shorts out about it. The first short was that um, nothing triggered when you hit two stars for this banner. Um, the devs fixed that very quickly. Really good work really fast work uh, from the devs they realized it was a mistake they made the the change uh, it was really quick really fast and we got what we needed to so um, this banner uh, I didn't make a video on it last time um, because it's everybody should know it is the most powerful um, relic in the game currently so um, after casting the relic all allies immediately gain two stacks of holy shield that unlocks at three stars this is the one that unlocks at two stars, so I thought they were going to change that around. Previously, you would unlock this skill um, at two stars, but um, instead they've decided to change it up, um, and now uh, instead you get the Deity uh, Slayer state, ignoring 50% of defense when uh, attacking a target. So a very powerful effect, but the, um, the most powerful effect is when you get this up to five stars, this banner. So you do need this banner up to five stars, and the number of Holy Shield stacks is increased to eight. So whenever this triggers, you get eight stacks of Holy Shield. If it's at five stars, if it's at seven stars, you get ten stacks of Holy Shield. Pair this with um, a relic like Spear uh, and with a Chrono Relic, and you've got yourself 20 or um, 16 stacks of Holy Shield on round one. A very powerful effect indeed and saves a lot of damage, especially in the synergies it's in. Now, um, this new uh, relic, the Underworld Key. Now, um, the Underworld Key is slightly different uh, and I think it's going to change things, actually. I think it's going to have more of a subtle impact than people think it will. Uh, and the reason for that is because of uh, this skill here. So it does your damage. Yep, uh, it's this one here. So Mystic Rebirth instantly restores 100 energy and increases relic damage of all allies by 20%. Now, what that means is um, normally you would find this on uh, Glorians and you would find it on Avengers. So as you can see on Banner, it's there on Chest, it's there, um, and on Spear, it's there as well. So these are all Glorian Avengers relics, uh, and you only find that effect. It's uh, been pretty much exclusive um, to the uh, Glorians and, uh, Glorians and uh, Avengers for uh, the entire duration of the game. So really, really powerful effect. And now, Mystifiers and Valianters have it as well. So you can build um, more of... Where you can you can instead of using say banner uh, and not getting the relic synergy um, for mystifiers and for uh, avengers now you do get this with um the uh mystifiers and the uh valianters but you also get the relic synergy for those as well so a very powerful effect indeed but that's not all it does so let's jump in uh, let's just have a look so uh, it deals um 188% at level 1 or 1 star and then uh, increasing amounts up to if you get it to 10 stars uh, it's 228% uh, plus then um, I think it's what 2,600,000 um damage uh, and reduces energy cost down to 20 so pretty standard uh, that we've seen for these types of relics uh, you know, it's decent attack and it, it will it will do the job the higher the star level you get it at. Now, this is quite interesting. So, um, each nether flame has 20% chance to stun. If you get it up to 7 stars, that goes up to 80% chance to stun. So, Mystifier's stun team, um, that's a very powerful PvP synergy already. With this um, netherworld key, or, or the underworld key, um, it's going to get even worse. It's going to get even more oppressive. Uh, if you have this up to seven stars 
it's six stars uh, sorry five stars it goes to 60 percent it's okay it's, it's just above a 50 percent chance um you know that you're going to get it but most of the time you want to get this to seven stars if you are going for um a lot of um if you want if you really really enjoy the, the mystifier stun um, very powerful and can also work very well in um, Valiators as well, but I think the primary purpose of this this relic even though it does give a hundred energy when it's cast um, After casting the relic summon one nether flame to strike a random enemy dealing 2% damage equal to max HP The number of nether flames increases to three and then the number of nether flames increases to five So you really you want to get this to eight stars. So um, a nether flame uh, to strike a random enemy dealing 2% damage equal to max HP. Um, now you combine this with this effect as well. So you do the 2% damage to um, you do the 2% damage, uh, and you also get this stun chance as well. So uh, I think it's going to be a very powerful effect. I think it's going to be um, a damage over time um, relic. I've not tested it. I've not I've not seen anything for it yet, but um, I think it will be a damage over time, uh, and I think that. Uh, it's going to be very, uh, like I said, uh, subtly impactful. Um, I, I think people are going to underestimate how this is going to shift the meta around a little bit. Um, and I think that Valiantors and Mystify has just got a huge bump uh, with this. So let's go ahead and let's jump in to do some summons. So as you can see, um, you can go into the shop and you can pick up 25 of these. So we can pick up 25 um, of the, uh, the summon stones. Uh, and that will get us our free copy via the rebate. So if you don't know, you can pick up 25 uh, of these uh, four diamonds. You can jump in to uh, the rebate here and you will pick up one copy um, when you summon uh, 25 times in the Mystic Pool. Fortunately enough, uh, in that uh, here, there is uh, zero of 25 or 25 um, here. You can also pick up additional packs as well. Um, you can pick up one for $4.99. Um, well, for me, it's $4.99 for 10 of them. And then moving forward, it's $14.99. So, um, yeah. Uh, effectively, if you go through the diamond option, um, you can uh, mm, you can pick up, effectively, sort of 35 to, to £40 pounds worth of value just from this alone. So, yeah, I think this... Um, Adding in the diamonds, uh, you can pick up the 25 of them, is absolutely fantastic. And I also think them adding the, if you've not seen the update, um, the patch notes, they've added the diamonds back in uh, to the O3 call event. So, uh, very good, very good. Uh, and that will happen on, on Wednesday, I believe. So in uh, four days, to five days time, just under a week. Uh, so let's go ahead and forge and let's test out this relic. So we get a cool animation. I had not seen this in the first six, six to uh, six to eight months. I had not seen that relic animation. I I do enjoy it very much. Um, that relic animation. So let's go ahead and see whether or not we can pick up um, a copy of it. Probably not. Um, I have done it before. Uh, picked up a copy of here. So we've summoned 25 times. We've got three left. Uh, I'm not going to go any further for it. We've got our one copy of the relic. We can go ahead and claim that. So let's jump in and let's see. Uh, what this relic does at one star. So we'll activate it here um, And we get our underworld key and let's go down to the bottom of these relics uh, And let's go ahead and level it up now. Huh, I do not have um, Yeah, I have no concerns leveling this up as you can see got um, got still got a lot to spare uh, with regards to that so we only get um, one ability with this relic uh, we get the damage and we also get the instantly restores energy uh, and increases the relic damage of all uh, allies relics by 20 percent so we can cast this uh, and then go straight into for example crown and then do uh, most damaging relic after that it's going to be an excellent combo so let's jump into lost city uh, and let's try it out on two different teams so the first team i oh, don't mind me i was playing around with an enchanters team just seeing if i can make it work i cannot <laughs> it is what it is. Um, so let's jump into Mystifiers first. Now we'll go with a decent Mystifiers team. Um, we'll have our four uh, Monarchs in there. And then let's go ahead. Yes, I did pick it up. Yes, I know it is. 
It is shameful because I'm not part of that guild. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's um, letters uh, imprinted all around this design. Uh, you've got the uh, AD up here, AD over here, um, and AD on the necklace as well. It is what it is. You know, it is what it is. It's a good skin. I bought it for the stats alone, not because it looks good. It does kind of look good, but I bought it for the stats alone. Now, uh, let's jump in and let's try out our new relic. So, we'll pop you in. We'll just see what it looks like uh, first and foremost. Uh, and then what we can do, we'll just pop in some standard uh, relics after that. We'll see if it makes a difference. Now, um, we can jump in exactly like this. Absolutely fine. Let's go ahead and make sure that our relic animation is on. Uh, up. We can do that in info and we can turn our relic animation on as well. So let's jump in and see what this relic looks like in action. So we get our um, corrode triggers, absolutely fine. I think this relic is going to be uh, better and better the more stars that you get. Do I think it's required? Hmm. That's alright, it's decent. It's okay, but we do increase relic damage by 20% now. Uh, it, it doesn't matter altogether too much, but it is starting to do more. I think that this uh, increasing relic damage is going to really do work in PvP, specifically uh, in like Foggy Coliseum um, or in, say, um, the World Arena. And the reason for that is the relic damage seems to do much more because your team has lower health pool, a much lower health pool than the enemy team here. Um, or the, the enemies that we're fighting against now. Um, the enemies have a lot, lot less health. Um, so it seems to be working out quite well. And I think that it's going to really impact the mystified synergy, the higher um, the higher stars you get. So as you can see, we've got stun on there. Um, and we've got taunt, so we are effectively crippling the opponents um, as much as we possibly can. So we do get the, uh, the relic here uh, triggering once again. Uh, and again, it's not doing damage, it's it's just giving us the ability to um, have three Mystifiers or three Valianters Relics. Um, and we also get that uh, 100 energy at the start as well. So, yeah, uh, as you can see, we've got two of them stunned and we've got two of them taunted as well. This team is a control team for sure. Um, it, it really is. And I think this Relic is just going to keep uh, buffing that. So this is this is very much a control Relic. Um, I think that, yeah, and the stun again, applying the stun again, um, it's, it really is, it is a control, it is a control relic um, for this this particular team. Applying that 80% chance of stun on five targets, that's going to be mental, that really is, especially with how the Mystifiers is set up already. So as we can see, um, doing relative amounts of damage to them, uh, absolutely um, yeah, it is what it is. But every time we do apply Corrode, uh, I believe we also uh, have a chance to stun as well. So, again, something that we, we need to take into consideration. I think it's I think this Relic is going to be absolutely fantastic, uh, especially in PvP. Especially in PvP. So, um, we'll see this trigger one more time. No, in fact, we'll, we'll jump into, um, jump into Valentine's. So... As you can see down here, if I had this at a higher star level, uh, this relic, I would be able to cast this now, um, and then the plague bow would also trigger um, two. So let me go ahead and skip, uh, and 11 rounds, we don't need to see all of it. Uh, we do get the um, the win here, so let's go ahead and try again, um, and let's change up some teams, uh, and let's go ahead and put in the Valianters team as well. So if we go to standard Valianters team, uh, let's try, uh, and then we'll go with Makaria as well. Uh, pop Elma in here, and I'm gonna pop Atrops in the front. Yeah, gonna pop Atrops in the front. These relics are all fine. Um, now I think this, I think when you get it up to three stars uh, and five stars respectively. That's when it's going to work uh, in combination with uh, the Valianters. So the way that the Valianters synergy works is you get that assail um, synergy, which means that uh, you get the damage reduction, but you also get the execute mechanic. If enemies are um, below 20% HP, you can execute them uh, if a Valianter attacks them, even if they miss. 
uh, and they're below 20% HP, the enemy will die. Uh, they will they will be executed. Now, what I think that um, the Underworld key will bring to uh, the Valianters team is they will be able to get the uh, health down uh, much, much, much faster. So um, we do have Hades who increases that limit up to 35%. So anybody who has um, a copy of Hades, a single copy of Hades, you don't need uh, seven star Hades for this, just the one, that limit will get increased uh, for all Valianters on the team. Um, so that's the 35% damage reduction and 35% chance to, um, or 35% um, HP or less, they will be executed. So if this is big damage here, yeah, so they're all going to get executed here. Um, and I think that the... <laughs> that was quite quick. Um, I think that the, the Underworld key, when you get the, the Netherworld Flames um, addition to it, it will do percentage damage of HP. So very, very powerful. So let me just jump into Relics again, and let me just show what that means. So we jump back into the Relic here, and it is this. So... Um, this one here, after casting the relic, some one nether flame uh, to strike random enemy dealing 2% damage equal to max HP. You get that up to 5, um, and that is the enemy doing um, temp. Uh, sorry, it's, uh, and if, if all 5 hit one enemy, that will be 10% um, of an enemy's damage done to them, and also there is a 20% chance to apply stun uh, to that enemy. If you get it up to 7 stars, it's 80% chance to stun that enemy so um, effectively if you get all five you will have an 80% chance to stun all five giving that control effect and also reducing health as well uh, as dealing the additional damage so I think the the purpose of this um, is primarily to give you that hundred um, relic energy at the start and then um, also get the synergy bonuses for mystifiers and valianters i think that the stun effect is primarily for um the control of the mystifiers team uh, and applying that stun and i think the nether flame um is primarily for the valianters team as well so i think it's a very well balanced relic do i think you should summon for it yes i think you should summon for one copy of it um do i think that you should go further than that yeah, if you if you love mystifiers and you love valianters, yeah, absolutely. I think you should go for it. Do I think it's better than banner? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I think if you're going to prioritize a um, a uh, relic, I think you should prioritize banner. Getting that up to five stars uh, should be a priority for just about every single player because that banner will probably be in clear records moving forward. Um, you'll just see this banner pop up everywhere. And everyone who has it typically will have it at five stars. So it is it is what it is, you know. Um, but again, if you want to go for it, go for it. Um, I think one copy, one to one, uh, one to three stars on this uh, underworld key is going to be enough. Uh, I think it, over time you'll build it up. So over sort of the next six months, you're going to be able to build it up through um, various different chests various different ways of obtaining it um, and you build it up that way do i think you should prioritize flame banner uh, yes i do and i think that um spear now is kind of it's kind of outdated um with with banner uh, on on the loose so again um, let me know what you think uh, about the relic itself um you know do you have any thoughts do you think it's overpowered do you think it's underpowered what do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. Uh, if you can like and subscribe, be really appreciated. Uh, and yeah, you're going to see a lot more of this uh, this underworld key moving forward. Thanks very much for watching. Um, I hope you have a fantastic day. Um, and yeah, um, good luck.